In 1996, a near-Earth asteroid was discovered to have a moon and the binary system was given the name Didymus, Greek for twin. Now the asteroid's moon is the target of an upcoming planetary defense mission. Here is what you need to know. NASA and the European Space Agency plan to stage the Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment, or AIDA, collaboration beginning in 2021. The collaboration will hit and study the Didymus pair, a near-Earth asteroid orbited by a smaller moon called Dimorphos. The larger asteroid is about 780 meters or 0.48 miles in diameter. The smaller body is 163 meters in diameter or 535 feet, about the size of the Great Pyramid. The binary system is not on a collision course with Earth. Instead, it is being targeted to provide a baseline for planning planetary defense strategies if a real threat were to occur, including how much force is needed to shift the orbit of an incoming asteroid. NASA's mission is an asteroid impactor called DART, which stands for Double Asteroid Redirection test. The refrigerator-sized spacecraft will launch in a window opening on July 22, 2021. It will reach Didymos in late September of 2022. After taking images during its approach, DART will fly into Dimorphos at approximately 6.58 km per second in late September or early October 2022. The impact will be recorded in space by a companion CubeSat provided by the Italian Space Agency that will be deployed from DART. Astronomers will compare observations from Earth-based telescopes to measure the resulting change in the orbit of Dimorphos induced by the impact. The European Space Agency's mission, named Hera after the Greek goddess, is planned to fly by Didymos in 2026 for six months of follow-up observations. The desk-sized spacecraft will map the impact crater left by DART and measure the mass of Dimorphos. It will then deploy two briefcase-sized CubeSats that will fly closer to Dimorphos to conduct further scans. One of these will land on the asteroid for several days of surface operations. In a press release on its website, the ESA says, AIDA would return fundamental new information on the mechanical response and impact cratering process at the scale of a real asteroid, and consequently on the collisional evolution of asteroids with implications for planetary defense, human spaceflight, and near-Earth object science and resource utilization. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.